Hi, I'm Jenny Fish, and I want to start out with a new project. It's been going through my head. I want to work on somebody else's pattern, get to learn their style, um, maybe pick up some tips and tricks. And I thought maybe you guys would want to come along with me. But recently I was like, I want to do a strand. I, I'm in the mood for a stranded knitting project for some reason. I don't know. I haven't done it in a little bit. And I'm like, I want to go find a pattern. So the first thing I did, I typed in stranded knitting. I didn't want to limit myself like, oh, I want to make a cowl or I want to make a scarf or I want to make a hat or socks or no, I just want a small little project, something to just kind of get my mind off of life and get into a project. So I did that. I went in and I found this amazing pattern and I'll put a link down in the description. It is a free pattern. It's called the Milky Way Cowl and it's by Carolina Adamchik or Adamchik, something like that. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's a little, little different for me. Um, I did do a little research on her because I wanted to know, okay, you know, who is this person? Um, she has a YouTube channel and if you go to Ravelry and you find the pattern, um, the Milky Way Cowl by Carolina or Carolina Adamchik. You can click on her name. It takes you to her designer page. You can check out the information. She has a link in there um, to her Instagram page. I, I checked that out. Unfortunately, she does not speak English, and I don't speak any other language other than English, so I couldn't really understand, but she does have a YouTube channel, all kinds of information, just not in English. But her pattern is in English. Yay for me. I immediately checked out her pattern. I downloaded it. I read through it. And I love, love so much about how she wrote this pattern. The only thing with patterns, too, is do not distribute them. Do not share the information for fee. You know, don't charge for it. That kind of thing. is That's just not nice. You know, come on. So I'm not going to give you specific information but i am going to use some excerpts and i'm not going to show you the pattern on the screen but i will put a link down and give her all the credit because this is an amazing pattern and i love the notes that she makes too okay so it's a cozy and soft cowl it's stranded color work so you use two colors um she does tell you the gauge so i want to talk about gauge and especially on a stranded knitting pattern and this is knit in the round you want to make a gauge swatch if you want your cow to turn out the same size as her cowl, then you need to make sure that you meet gauge. So you need to make a gauge swatch. Um, she gives you the information, the size needles. Um, it, the gauge swatch or the gauge that she's giving you is stranded color work in the round after blocking. So that means that you have to do the whole thing. You have to do a little section. You want it to be, she gives the over four inches, what your, um, what your gauge should be over four inches. So you need to make a swatch that's over four inches in the round using stranded color work, using the size needles that she tells you to make sure that you match up with what she has. So that's the first step. Then um, all of her abbreviations are standard normal knitting abbreviations. There isn't anything crazy or funky in here. Pattern very well very well written pattern um one of the other things i want to point out right away before we get into making a gauge swatch she has a note here it says hold the yarn in cc which means contrast color below the yarn in mc which means main color for optimal color dominance great notation however there might be some words in there that people don't understand um, new knitters may not go, what, what contrast, CC, MC, um, these are new terms for me. So CC is contrasting color. And in this pattern, she has um, a dark outside with some lighter blue color um, accents to it. So your contrast color is going to be the color that you're using the least amount, but it's the color that kind of pops. And your main color is just as you would as assume, it's the main color of your project, and that is MC. And so color dominance, that means I want this particular color to pop. 
So for me, I chose two different colors. I chose, actually I chose really close to the same colors that she had, this brown and this minty green. So this is gonna be my main color and this is going to be my contrasting color, the color that I want to pop out of my project, these two colors. Okay, so these are the, this is the yarn. And if you need the specifics of what she used, again, that is all in the pattern, but I, I don't wanna go too much into giving out her information, but I do wanna showcase this pattern and how lovely it is written. It is phenomenal. I love all the notes, but I just thought, <clears throat> that might be need a little bit more clarification for those of us, for those of you out there that haven't done a lot of knitting. So I'm not affiliated with her in any way. I just stumbled across her pattern on Ravelry, did a little research on her. Love, love, love how the pattern is written and I wanted to share it with everybody. And I thought, okay, I can use this to demonstrate a few things for you guys to help you along the way in English. And... Um, <laughs> Nothing wrong with the language that she speaks. I just didn't understand anything. Um, I tried. I tried. Um, but it, it's just beautiful. And I think we'll have a great finished project. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just starting today. So I'm going to go into Ravelry. I'm going to pop into my queue. And I'm going to say I'm starting this project with today's date. And let's get started. So here's my phone. I've got the chart. It's a screenshot of the chart. And I'm in Photos. So I want to go to Edit and move over to Markup and then select Highlighter and you can choose whatever color you want. Then I'm going to zoom in on my chart and I just finished um, round 10 so I'm going to highlight that. And you can make it whatever size works for you. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. So all of that is done. I've highlighted that. I'm ready to start on round 11. So here's my, and I'm gonna go ahead and knit into the first stitch with my main color, that's this brown. And my contrast color is this minty color right here. I'm just gonna knit normal into that. Now, after I knit that first one, then I'm gonna go into the next stitch, the third stitch, but I'm moving the mint to my left hand. And I'm gonna knit the next two with my right hand in the brown. Now I'm gonna look back over at my chart and I, for this one, am on um, round 11. So it starts out with the brown. Now I'm just gonna knit one stitch with the brown. Then I've got a green and two browns. And I'm really trying to keep not tug on my knitting because I want a really loose knitting, uh, really loose pattern. So two on, really keeping my tension loose because I don't want this to pucker. Two brown, one mint. Now I'm back to my selvage stitches and I'm gonna do two browns, one mint, one brown, and there. Okay, so you notice now I'm not going to purl back. What I'm going to do, and I'll show you what the back looks like. I have just been pulling these across. When I'm done with this swatch, I will cut up the middle. I will wet block it, lie it flat to dry, and take my measurements. So that is how I basically mock knitting in the round when I'm doing a gauge Four swatch. extra stitches from the work that I'm going to be doing on each side, that's what these stitch markers are for to indicate those. They call them selvage stitches or salvage stitches, whichever you prefer. I say selvage more often. And those are to kind of lock in because where I'm gonna take my gauge measurement is here, right through there. So these aren't really gonna matter as much other than just keeping my work uh, confined, <laughs> keeping my tension because you don't want to, when you measure your ten your gauge, you don't want to measure all the way from the outside and in because there's some differences out here. So we really just want what's in the middle here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on how I knit a gauge swatch for stranded knitting in the round. Don't forget to check the description box below. Uh, have a link there. I'll put a link in so that you can find the pattern on Ravelry. It's the Milky Way Cow. Thanks to everyone for joining me and um, have a great and fantastic day. Thank you. Bye-bye.